Here's me calling my credit card company because I'm about to go off on this shopping. <laughs> Hot thing, Ralph Lauren sporty manually cropped and hand turtleneck halter top with black detailing. Fit into this like a glove. And Sir. Everyone, femininity and masculinity exists objectively. Hi Stan Stans, my name is Stan, welcome to the world of extra. So today is a really exciting day for me because I'm allowing myself to go UFF with shopping. Today is thrifting day. My outfit for today, thrifted, thrifted, except for the Buy Extra X World of Mama Necklace Collection that sold out within two days. Thank you so much for all your support. A lot of you guys have been asking for clothes shopping videos and like thrifting videos and stuff, so this is it. So I'm just gonna go meet up with Justin, we're gonna have a little bit of a brunch moment, and then we're gonna go shopping! Let's go! My money. I need my money. Wait. <laughs> I need you guys too. <laughs> okay, so first things first is we're getting food. It's currently like noon, but we don't want to spend a lot of money on food. We just want to like spend all our money on clothes. And we also have to get a birthday present for our best friend, Patrick. We love you, Patrick. Please don't yell at us. Hi, Justin. Hi. This is my best friend, so shut up. This has never been done before. It's literally onigiri bento. So there's two onigiri. I got tuna and cod roe. And I got some vegetables, miso soup, and one piece of chicken. This entire meal cost me literally only like $8. I slayed. Also, as usual, salad first. Don't even play with me. We have like three kinds of salad. We have like salad salad, edamame salad, and we have the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just finished eating. We took our little train to come to Shimokitazawa. Shimokitazawa is the best shopping place in Japan. Honestly, I think Harajuku is the best shopping place, but we want to start in Shimokitazawa. The reason Shimokitazawa isn't the best is because a lot of the things are a little bit overpriced. Also, I think I'm slowly <laughs> learning the patterns of Tokyo weather forecast. I think instead of looking at the weather forecast, I think you should just go outside and look at the sky for yourself. Here is the rule. Here is what I've learned from my little experiment. So you have to go outside and see if there's one cloud. If there's one cloud the size of like a coin, <laughs> then it's gonna rain. Because the weather forecast literally said it's gonna be sunny all day today but boom it's raining right now as we speak also if you smoke you're a loser <laughs> also look what i brought you guys oh my god you guys are gonna love it i brought my 360 camera because all the stores here always tell me to not film and i'm not gonna not take you into the stores with me so i brought my little 360 camera so i can take you guys in mm -hmm. do you love it the first store we're going to is vigo the shimokitazo vigo is not like your regular shibuya vigo the shimokitazo vigo are secondhand things which i love so let's go in so first things first of course we have to disinfect back to our hands. Right away by the entrance, I saw all these crop tops. Don't you just hate it when clothes do this shit? So I was like, let me just take all of them. I wasn't really the biggest fan of how big the neckline was. All the designs were super cute and colorful. But this last olive one that said Naples kind of whispered to me. Yeah, just whispered, not fully spoke because I didn't love love it. Thrifting for pants is really hard, but I decided to just look anyway. I think these ones over here were old pants that were altered to have holes the shape of a heart on one of the legs. I didn't really like it though. I thought it was trying a little bit too hard. It's always super worth it to look at the products at the storefront because they usually display products which they think would attract customers. I seriously love the Shimokitazo Vigo so much, and it's always my first stop because it's just so big. Oh my god, I was so excited to find this hot pink Ralph Lauren sporty manually cropped and hemmed turtleneck halter top with black detailing that I just had to try it on when I saw it. Vigo also sells a lot of secondhand luxury brands, but I wasn't into these Gucci shirts. Here's Justin looking for his pieces as well, look at him. We can get really competitive when we're shopping. I fucking swear, the number of times I dropped clothes while I was here, I genuinely almost threw a tantrum. <laughs> One of the sections I always check when I go thrifting is probably the black graphic tees. Number one, black graphic tees will never go out of style. Number two, they are always a stylish option for any occasion. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. And number three, 100% of people in the world look good in black t-shirt. Like there's no one in the world that does not look good in black t-shirt, bitch. But yes, I was obsessed with this fiery Harley Davidson t-shirt. Also, if you're going shopping, do not be too lazy or be too scared to dig. You know what they say? A lot of the gems are hidden. Literally no one said that. <laughs> anyway, this is me trying on all the clothes I found at WeGo. Ooh, need I say more? Need I say more for this grab up? Need I say more? Shut up. Actually, I was on the fence because there were a lot of stains on it and the hem of the crop was not really cute, but I gave in and just got it. This Disney t-shirt, I mean, come on, obsessed. This crop top, I wasn't 100% either. Like I said, the neckline is just too big. Looking back now though, while I'm editing, I think I actually really like it. I have a very beautiful body, like it's just a fact. And this top really accentuates my body. Yes, it does. Ooh, look what I'm saying with black t-shirts. Are you seeing this? Literally, I'm telling you, black t-shirts look so good and appealing to everyone. This guest t-shirt was really cute. I actually really like how tight the neck was, but it wasn't actually oversized. It was just really long. You would know something is oversized if the shoulder drops or if the sleeves touch or go past your elbows, which this shirt didn't, so shut up. 
Here's me calling my credit card company to increase my limit because I'm about to go off on this shopping. Okay, so shop number one is done. We're just getting started. I got this. I was obsessed with it. It has Dumbo over here and it's the animation studio. It's not Disneyland, it's the animation studio. It's the animation studio. So never been done before. Mm -hmm. Like it's usually Disneyland, the castle, but this time it's the animation studio. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I got this Harley Davidson t-shirt and I also got this. Now, this I was really on the fence with. It's so like stained, but also like it fit so perfectly on my body. They're nice stains. It's not like a cum stain. It's like a little like mystery stain. That's true. Like, what did you get? You didn't get anything. I you actually get? did get something. <laughs> I got a little Kleenex. I found this little Harley Davidson moment. It's a sleeveless pink mm -hmm. tank. I put this on and it fit me like Cinderella at the ball. I was like, but charming, just put the slipper on my body. I felt like I fit into this like a glove. <laughs> and Sir. <laughs> <laughs> I just yelled at that man. But yes, I love that top. You actually like got it for me. Like when you put it in your basket, you were like, you're gonna love this. And I was like, no. Oh. I was like, Stan, you're gonna like this. Yeah. What is it? Hi. 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 We're here for another one second. One. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the next store we're going to is Dylan. I really like this store because they have a lot of like... What's it called? Band of Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> but Lady Gaga is not a band. That next door was on my ass, you guys. Like, literally, the moment I went in, the stuff was just there like, <laughs> when is it gonna be about his camera? When is it gonna be about his camera? I can smell he's a YouTuber. Like, they were literally sounding your dick. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to film here at all. So basically, what I got from that store is literally only one thing. This is a really cute gas denim vest. Look at this, studded colors. When have you ever seen a studded color denim vest? Never. I don't have to tuck it, it's like tight. I hate it when vests do that little flare thing. Mm -hmm. That was $55 for one piece of denim. I think it's worth it. Yeah, that's a good sure. price. Next store, we're going to this store called Flamingo. Flamingo is a really popular store in Tokyo. I got a lot of cute things from this store last time, so I'm excited to go in. So right off the bat, you can tell how trendy, cool, and colorful all the clothes are at Flamingo. One of my favorite things about Flamingo is I feel like all their pieces are carefully selected. And it's not your conventional thrift store where they just sell any old clothes. It sounds like I'm eating their ass right now, but this video is not sponsored by Flamingo. I honestly genuinely just love Flamingo. And I got a lot of the clothes from this video from Flamingo. And if I say Flamingo one more time, you can rip my face off, bitch. I also love that Flamingo sells not only clothes, but a lot of accessories, bags, hats, sunglasses. This coach bag really screamed in my ear. It was so cute. But the strap was really long and it was not adjustable. Here's me being distracted by all the glasses. And then I was like, wait, I was supposed to decide whether or not I should get this bag. And I was like, no, I'll skip it because it's not adjustable and the strap is too long long and I fucking hate it. But I love the color, I love that it's coat, and I love that you can fit a lot of things in it, but I hate it. If there's anything Justin and I love, it's strutting in clothes we don't own. This red vintage 3 4 baseball raglan really spoke to me. It was so stylish, it was not trying too hard, but damn, $50 for that? I was like, no bitch, I'll sell my own. It did have its moment though. Thrifting is honestly just so much fun. Here's me trying on these really cute dark gray Levi shorts. I'm not the biggest shorts person, but when I tried them on, I was like, oh my god, these are so fucking cute. They fit perfectly. I was like, Justin, check them out, and Bam! Justin was also in this really cute brown crop top. He said yes to the shorts, of course. I'll show you them later. They're super cute and perfect. And here's me trying to convince him to get the crop top because it looks so good and perfect. Don't you guys think so? Because I think so. And look, he thought so too. I'm resting in the fitting room right now. I'm a little bit tired. Actually, I'm not tired at all. Shut up. I'm not tired. Because I feel like if you admit that you're tired, that's when you get tired. So I'm not tired. I am going to buy these shorts from this store. This is $74.80. But it's worth it because it's Levi's and it literally fits perfect. These shorts were made for me. I feel like my bare ass is showing through the crevices of this curtain. If you think about shorts, think about shorts right now. Boom, you just imagine these because these are the most perfect, most like iconic shorts. Per, I ate. So we just finished at Flamingo. This is what I got, as you guys know. Don't even look at it. You're not allowed to look at it. You're gonna copy it. You're literally gonna copy it. He's gonna copy it. I'm showing you guys all the stores I'm going to, but you're not allowed to come here because you're gonna buy all the clothes I want. <laughs> I got this blue shirt. It looks so simple, but I just love the details what of the that? rib and also the rings. Oh. 
Don't look at it. Don't look at it. It's gonna be my cozy like indoor shirt. This crop top. That's so cute. Yes. No cars allowed here, please. <laughs> and the last thing I got was a hat and I love it. So. No cars here, please. <laughs> <laughs> also, just so you guys know, I brought my own tote bag for this moment because I didn't want to ask for bags. Look at it, it's so cute. It says tote bag. And my tote bag also says tote bag. Isn't that so camp of me? So cute. We just went to like a bunch of different stores and now we need to pick me up. But yes, we're gonna go to this waffle place called Orange Waffle. We literally go there like every single time we come to Shimokita Zawa but it's also like my least favorite cafe in Japan. I they know. have like they have like the worst menu. But you guys should go there because I'm never there anyway. So like that place you can go to. Like I don't want to gatekeep that one. Yes. <laughs> just go, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Like I actually love that place. Sorry. Sorry to the business owners. We got the best seat under this willow tree. It's not a willow tree, but I'm pretending that it's a willow tree because it's my favorite tree in the world. So hello, willow tree. Nice to meet you. This table is just on another level of pick me up. This table needs a pick me up. So we are here for the pick me up. Hello, excuse me. Can I please have the pick me up? Strawberry and white chocolate. I don't want it. Shut no, up. I don't want it. Still, look at my arm. <laughs> Ew, what is happening? Actually, I'm gonna get an acai bowl. Do they have that? Yeah. If there's such that a thing as a pick me up, it's an acai bowl. Acai bowl is the best pick me up. Oh, oh, oh. I'll do tricks for you. Just pee on me. <laughs> What is your opinion about fashion? Fashion is something that's new to me. Fashion became more visible to me when I became friends with you. Thank you. Yes. That is a very nice compliment. Yes. And I feel like you know that. Like, you definitely saw how I dressed when I first met you. Yeah. Especially where I'm from. I'm not gonna lie, like, even LA, it's like, it's all kind of the same. It's not like very out there like Harajuku and like New York is. Like, LA, like, it's not people, experimental. Pe yeah, it's not experimental. And it's like, people dress nice and they have brands and stuff, but it's not experimental. Especially like you. Yeah. And like, you have a very versatile style. So there's things that like you teach me and obviously like having friends that like gas you up and like say like Oh my god, you look so good and that makes such a difference. Oh, yeah so I And think that's what we do for each other every single time. Yeah, we have like a new outfit because when I'm shopping alone I'm like oh, I don't look good in pink, but then I'm with you. You're like you look really good in pink yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get fashion to me. It's just like a way to express yourself. That's basically it honestly It's yeah. not that deep. It's really not that. Deep. Yeah, it's supposed to be fun Yeah, it's really it's supposed, supposed to be, be fun. fun and I would love for everyone to like experiment more. Yeah, and don't wear it because it's trendy don't wear it because you think other people would like it but wear it because you want to try it you want to look good in it and you feel good in it mm -hmm. yeah and I think a lot of people struggle with like body as well sometimes people think they can't wear a certain thing just because their body doesn't look good in terms of like the standard of the society yeah it's hard to like yeah. talk yourself out of it definitely find yourself some friends who are gonna support you no matter what your body type is yeah. as long as you are like healthy no matter what you look like I like this shirt <laughs> <laughs> I want this shirt so bad. This so was cute. also thrifted from a little pop-up store. I'm it was so literally mad. only a thousand yen. If I saw that, I would never go shopping again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the strongest coffee I've ever had in my entire life. It actually is. It's so strong. What do they put in Ooh, this? I love it. One shot of water with espresso. How would you describe your style besides versatile? Versatile? <laughs> I just said one word I said not to use. You go, visit that. I think my style is very. You better not go in my fucking drink. <laughs> See that piece of dust? Literally, it took so long, it just gained 100,000 subscribers. My style is expressive. 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 Yeah. Because whenever I choose clothes in the morning, I try to think of how I feel that day. Okay, here's the fucking thing, okay? Bitch, don't shut up, shut up, shut up. Clothes have no gender. But at the same time, femininity and masculinity exists objectively. And we just have to understand that that exists. So I'm not saying like, just because you wear a dress, then you're a woman. That's not what I'm saying. But at the same time, as a society, femininity exists. So for example, if I feel feminine, then I am gonna wear like a very feminine outfit. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying this outfit is for girls. Mm -hmm. Femininity and masculinity exists objectively, but it is not black or white. It is still a spectrum like a lot of other things. And it's not right or wrong. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be constrained by it. You should have fun with it. Yeah, like, you really should have fun with it. Like if you or I want to feel feminine one day, I love that. Like yeah. I wanna be feminine. Or if I wanna be fucking masculine one mm -hmm. day, that's fun too. Yeah. They exist as expressions. They shouldn't exist as like a category to box yourselves into like certain things and like that's Exclude not the point people. of it. Yeah, it's not about exclusivity. Fashion to me is physical comfort, but also comfort in the expression, in the emotion. It's well. supposed to be comfortable inside and out. Like when you, you had such a nice outfit in the daytime, it was becoming nighttime and you're like, I want to buy something new because I'm just thinking too much about my outfit now. I don't want to wear this at night and I'm thinking about it. And also don't feel pressured to wear something just because it's a trend. Fashion is subjective and that is something you should understand. If I hate your outfit, I still hate it. 
<laughs> okay? Like, wear whatever the fuck you want, but if I hate it, I hate it. But yeah. also, at the same time, you're not supposed to be affected by that. If you like what we always talk about, let us know in the comments if you want a podcast, because that's been something we've been talking about I for a know. while. Oh, we do want to do a podcast. We do need to do a podcast. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have a little pick-me-up, so we'll see you at the next store. Let me know in the comments down below what fashion means to you. We've looked at almost all the stores. We looked... We looked... <laughs> I just had a brain spasm. We looked at all the stores we've... Oh my god, my brain is like not working. We basically went to all the stores we wanted to look at. Oh my god, my brain is not working. Okay, we went to... Let me do it. <laughs> we went to all the stores that we... Wait, how did we this? <laughs> We basically went to all the stores we came here for. But basically, we're just gonna go to like random stores and see what I can get. Okay, first of all, let's address the elephant in the room. What is this? I just bought this fisherman's vest. It's a little cropped up moment. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Thank yeah. you. First of all, look at this fucking coach Ooh. bag I found. I checked everything. It works perfectly. It's also not stained at all. Look mm -hmm. at the inside. The inside is so nice. Look at the inside. The buckle is so cute. Look mm -hmm. at it. The silver buckle. I got this little baby vest. Meant for babies. Not thrifted at all, but I got like contact lenses. And let's just be honest, a big fat dildo. <laughs> <laughs> also, look at this. I am obsessed with this. This little fucking vest moment. I think this is literally for like a two-year-old. I love it. This one is 6380. And it says Central Arizona College. If you're from Arizona, hello. It fit you so well. It was like a little triangle. Upside Thank you. Triangle. I also oh, got yeah. this. I remember the price of this. We got these at the same place. Yes, we did. And it fit me so perfectly. This is also children's size six. This one was a thousand yen. It's so fucking cute. It fit me like a glib. <laughs> fit you like a glib. This says made for kids. I got a lot, actually. What the hell? Okay, we actually went to a lot of stores this time around. So I'm a little bit tired, but it's time to go to Harajuku because we're not done yet. He does not give a shit. Okay, everyone announcement. Announcement, everyone. Announcement. I just won the Lady Gaga concert tickets. Mm -hmm, the Chromatica Mode Tokyo one. Yes, that one. And VIP tickets too. Yes, they were so hard to get. Yes, I worked my ass off. And yes, I got two tickets. <laughs> You're so jealous. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm gonna see Lady Gaga in Tokyo. I think you guys don't understand. Just kidding. Oh my god, people are like looking at me because they think I'm actually crying. <laughs> you guys never heard of acting before? <laughs> so we are at one of our favorite thrift stores in all of Tokyo, honestly. I think this is honestly one of my favorites. Should we gatekeep it? I think I should gatekeep it. <laughs> I'm gonna blur this. Yes. Yep, it's blurred. You don't even know where it is. Yep. But no, it's literally right next to that iconic Harajuku crossing. Please don't come here because I want to buy all the clothes. This store is just so nice. And whenever I come here to vlog, they just like let me. So come here, but don't buy anything. I have like a photo shoot for this magazine on Tuesday. So I do have to get a few things. Not that I haven't gotten a lot already today, but you get it. So I'll show you when I get out of the store. Okay, I need your help for this one, you guys. Do I or do I not buy these pants? Okay, you couldn't see the pants in the video. I'm editing right now, but I'm gonna put the pants on. First of all, details, details. It's Columbia, built and belt. Look at this patch, striker gold. And it has this Columbia logo right... Bitch, where the fuck? There. Really high quality zipper. Ooh. I filmed the video almost a month ago. And I've worn these pants a few times already. They fit so perfectly. Ooh. Okay, so I got those pair of pants for $63. That's actually really cheap That's for really pair of pants. Cheap for and they were so cute. And they were Columbia. I would rate this shopping day a dinner day. It was successful. We are gonna go to TJ Fridays and we're gonna have a nice dinner. We're just gonna unwind. I'll see you guys on my next video next week. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Bye. Bye. Mwah.